close order formation which could make things quite interesting on that first and second turn junior wayman anxious to get away for the attentions of the man immediately behind him and also the man there's the green flag <laughs> oh right they go and into that first turn all of them rushing away around there and as expected there is a problem junior wayman breaking away with john london that second place now this fifth oh Mark Taylor putting him up really kind of before 91. Murray Harris did trouble on the top two there. Murray Webb has plenty of room on the track. But Judy Webb in 5-1-5. Lead for John Lundy, Gullivan, 53. Anderson, Gullivan, 3, 91. 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 All the rest of them still moving with Ray Whitzel. And there's trouble again on that top two. With Tony Smith and Gullivan, 91, getting involved. With Gullivan, 3, 91, 22. It's still Junior Webb in Carnival 515. He's the man that uh, leads. John Lund not allowing him to get away. Carnival 53, Andrew Smith to win that third place in Carnival 391. And Gary Christel right behind him in Carnival 247. Here comes Mark Taylor in Carnival 490. And Dave Johnson in Carnival 383. Two problems down there on turns three and four. Matty Heath joins him in Carnival 343, but it doesn't affect the leaders. Junior Wayman going out seemingly a little bit wide there, but not wide enough to allow John Lund to get through. He's still on to that second place. As indeed is Andrew Smith, third place in Carnival 391. Looks this minute, he's going to try and come underneath John Lund. But he too is not quite looking off again. All the problems solved on turns one and two. We've got an open track. Off goes Dave Johnson in the early stages of Carnival 383. But in this World of Sale final, it's three away mini Carnival 515 leading the pack. Andrew Smith once again trying to come underneath John Lund in Carnival 53, but he still doesn't quite make it. The number 515 car opened up a bit of a gap. John Lund going out a little bit wide again. Oh, and closed his down over on that far side, loses it a little bit, and Andrew Smith could still be going through. This time moving up, and then Gary Castell trying to get through as well in Carnival 247. Junior Wayman, the leader in Carnival 515 from Andrew Smith in Carnival 391. There comes John London, Carnival 53 and 247. Gary Castell, Mark Taylor in Carnival 490, and then Tony Smith in Carnival 91, and Rob Calvey in Carnival 73. Track still wide open as they come up against Pat Marcus, which, once again, might cloud the issue just a little bit. We're drifting to see if it does. Castell challenging Lund then on that turn, but it's still Lund in that third place. Junior Wayman first in car number 515 from the number 391 car of Andrew Smith still in that second place. John Lund third in car number 53. Then comes the number 247 car of Gary Castell. I get that tail end right out on three and four. Teaching nicely under control. The first four cars broken away. Fifth place man is locked over in car number 490. Then comes Rock Cowley in car number 73. Ray Witts in car number 180. He just moved past Tony Smith. Dash Holder moving up as well now in car number 38. And it's the National Points champion, Junior Wayman, in front of a 515, who leads the pack. From 391, Andrew Smith, John Lund, it's halfway next time, Mr. Starter. So that halfway stage, Junior Wayman then in command at the moment from Andrew Smith, second place in front of a 391, and John Lund third in front of a 53. Pushing past the back markers at this time in the shape of car number 53. Is uh, yeah, in front of a 53, just moving past Will Yellow in front of a 22. Still no change up front. But these cars now well spread around this raceway. But uh, certainly not straight. Far enough to uh, perhaps wonder if there'll be an upset in the second half as far as the front runners are concerned. Junior Wayman still there. He got number 515 from Andrew Smith. got number 391. And John London 53. Dropping back a little bit now. It's number 247 car of Gary Castell from 490. Mark Taylor in that next position. Then Rob Cowley and Ray Wicks. Interesting as they come out of that turn, they're still close. First, second and third. Junior Wayman in 5-1-5. Andrew Smith in car number 3, 91. John Lund in car number 53. First, second, third forward. And, uh, is Lund perhaps contemplating an attack on the Andrew Smith car before that checker flag goes down? He well might be, but there's still time for it to happen. With five next time, Mr. Starter. So with five laps to go next time round, Mr. Starter picking it up there and uh, saying to these lads, yes, here we go with five laps to go. And this could be a very interesting five laps. Junior Wayman in 515, being docked all the way around by Andrew Smith in 391. And Smith in turn, not getting away from John Lund in car number 53. We might well choose to wind it up with a couple of laps to go and see if he can uh, use. Andrew Smith is the cue ball to remove the 515 car. It could happen. Into the closing stages we go. Still Wayman, Smith, and Lund. First, second, and third. 
from 247. Gary Castell in fourth place. Mark Taylor, fifth in 490. Will Yarrow's gone over on the far side with Tony Smith and Carl number 91. But still those three chasing each other all the way down that far side. Two laps to go. And will Andrew decide to have a little poke at Junior before that checker goes down? He's certainly getting close enough to do it. And if they're hindered by that mark, it might well happen. Oh, a little bit of a nudge there on the back marker by Wayman. It was good enough to send that car wide. They're on the last lap. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. And it does happen there. And away they go. And it's John Lund who's gone through. John Lund has gone through. After those two had a go. Andrew Smith came back into second place, but it's John Lundy, car number 53, who shrinks that car out of there, sweeps his way through, and Lundy takes the World of Sale Championship. The car number 53 for 391, 247, 490, 180, 73, and 97. Well, well, well. Just keep him going. And that will do us, Mr. Starter. Thank you, the Reds, if you would. But as predicted, it all happened on the last lap. They had been dogging each other, those three cars, right the way through. But John, of course, tactical as ever, let the other two sort themselves out, probably knowing that Andrew was going to have a dive uh, to Junior. And whilst those two were sorting themselves out, through when John take the title. So it's 53, 391 and 247, ready to receive the trophies there in this World of Shale Grand Final here at Bellevue. And what a cracker it turned out to be. And the winner of this evening's World of Shale Final, driving car number 53 to victory, ladies and gentlemen, John Lung. Let's hear it for them. John Lund and 